Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'll be showing you how to do Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Um, I've turned it into a time lapse video so it'll go a lot quicker. Uh, sorry about the quality of the video. Um, I haven't got the hang of setting up my videos yet so um, just bear with me. So I started off with the Superstar um, skin colour palette. I used colour 10, 00, and 15. For the lips I used colour 133 which is also from Superstar. For the eyes and the eyebrows I used Chameleon Darkness Scare Line which is a nice brown. For the hair I went in with colour 00 and also the um, Darkness Scare Line. So I used the colour 00 just to get a nice um, mustard tone to the hair. For the yellow I've used Tag Neon Yellow just to go in with the light, um, blocked all that colour in and also did the skin colours with my Chameleon Fluffy Brush which is that little green one you can see. So I went in with the Chameleon scale, <laughs> Darkness Scare Line and added in um, some shadows and some dark lines to the hair um, and around the face. I'm using either a number two or a number one for this and I'm using my chameleon brush to create a nice soft look with it. I find this brush is really easy to use and it's great for um, blending out your lines and um, giving, it, yeah, giving it a really nice soft look. So I'm adding in shadows, I'm using a combination of the chameleon brown and a little bit of black and just really adding a tiny little bit on you, onto your brush and then smudging it in with your chameleon brush. The chameleon brushes are very similar to a makeup brush for your eyes, um, they're nice and fluffy and soft. So now I'm adding in some highlights to the arms and the shoulders with some white. I've also added some Superstar Baby Pink Colour 162 to the cheeks to give it a nice rosy pink colour. And now I'm going in with white to add some highlights and some teeth in the middle of the mouth. And I'm just using some black to create the eyes. I think I'm using a number one or zero um, Lowell Cornell brush here to create the really small details. So yeah, I apologise for the quality of this video. It's It looks a bit awkward the way I'm painting it, but I'll get better with time. So I found that the easiest way to do these is to add little bits of colour as you go, um, not to add a lot of colour on your um, on your design, it's just easier to build up the colour. So I'm just adding in some white highlights in the eyes, um, adding in a little bit of darkness to the hair and fluffing that out, technical term there, fluffing. Just adding some more darkness and depth into the drawing and going in and outlining the hair. And make sure your brush is quite, is not too wet. Um, I found that if it's too wet and it's got too much um, water on it, it might end up smudging, which happened to my, my um, painting a couple of times. So I'm just adding in um, some white mixed with a little bit of neon yellow and also adding in a darker yellow, a regular yellow to add um, shadows and depth into the dress. And adding a little bit of tiny bit of orange under the arm to add more depth and then going in with black to outline. And this is done with my number one Lowell Cornell. 
So I'm just outlining everything, adding a little bit of shadow, a little bit, little bit of depth with the black, adding a little bit of shadow in the skin with um, a light, uh, like a pinky brownie color. Then adding more highlights with my fluffy brush. And there you have it. There's Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Okay, bye.